Plus tragedies from the winter storm, two possible hypothermia deaths under investigation. And will policies be adjusted to save lives? Live, you're watching Coin 6 News at 10, watching out for you. It is so important for us to be able to send that message to the families that we haven't forgotten and to the criminals that they'll be held accountable. Tonight, investigators believe they've finally caught Deborah Lee Atrop's killer more than three decades later. Today, we were there as her estranged husband appeared in court, now accused of murder. Good evening to you and thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Elizabeth Din. And let's get to our Jamie Seymour, who's going beyond the headlines tonight. Jamie, tell us about what led up to the new development in this case. Liz, for years, there were few answers in the death of Deborah Lee Atrops and in, in her murder. But this arrest is credited in large part to the hard work of detectives focusing on some of these unsolved cases after Washington County recently established their cold case unit. Finally getting answers nearly 35 years later as Washington County's new cold case unit made a break in an unsolved murder case from the 80s. And this particular case is the first case that this unit has worked on uh, to be able to hopefully bring some closure to the family. Decades later, prosecutors say now 68 year old Robert Elmer Atrops is the person responsible for the November 1988 murder of his estranged wife, Deborah Lee Atrops. Mr. Atrops will be held without bail. Atrops appeared in court Thursday after he was arrested earlier this morning at his home in Newburgh. On Tuesday, new witness interviews and forensic evidence collected by Washington County's cold case unit were presented to a grand jury who then indicted Atrops on one count of second degree murder. The end of the um, investigative portion and the beginning of the prosecution portion is really just a turning of the chapters. Deborah was only 30 years old when she was killed. She and Robert Atrop separated a few months earlier and he reported her missing when she failed to come pick up their baby one night. Officials spoke with Coin 6 at the scene days later in 1988 when her body was found in Beaverton. We were investigating that missing person, believing that foul play may have occurred. Uh, we did open the trunk of the vehicle and the woman was found deceased. Despite the work of investigators, the case eventually turned cold. But in 2020, Washington County received nearly half a million in federal funds to launch its cold case unit and found at least 40 cases dating back to the 1960s that have the potential to be solved. The technology we have today allows us to go back and re-examine evidence that the investigators of yesterday may have never um, contemplated uh, could be examined in the ways we're looking at it. Washington County District Attorney Kevin Barton says this is just the first step to getting closure for many families like Deborah's. We hope that we can solve more cases moving forward um, because there's plenty of work to be done. Because this is still an open case and has not gone to trial, the district attorney was not able to go into further detail about what evidence or new information led up to that indictment and arrest. But, you know, we're going to continue to follow this case now as it starts to move through the courts. Reporting in live, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. All right.